and to find out why I'm going to put myself through the same experience. These are the laboratories of Kinetic in Hampshire, operated by Dr. Henry Looper and his team. The room I'm sitting in is a decompression chamber. Any second now, all the air is going to be sucked out of it, leaving me at an equivalent altitude of 25,000 feet. All military pilots have to do this training, so they become familiar with the effects of sudden hypoxia. Okay, just confirm you're happy to proceed. Yeah, very happy. Stand by for rapid decompression. In five, four, three, two, one. Now. As the pressure drops, the chamber suddenly fogs up as the moisture condenses out of the air. A lot colder in here now. Some condensation in the cabin. 25,000 feet. While I've still got my breathing mask on, I can function fine at this altitude. So still on oxygen at this point, and the oxygen saturation break there is showing me 99% saturated. Okay, you're feeling all well. Feeling good. But when the time comes to take my mask off, I'll be suddenly exposed to air with only a third of the amount of oxygen in it. What I would like you to do is drop your mask and then switch the regulator off. This is rapid decompression. Unlike in the mountains, there's no time to acclimatize to the lack of oxygen. And the effects are very different. Whilst initially, I can easily perform normal functions like writing my name and address, my blood oxygen levels are falling dramatically. Quite alarming that drop in oxygen saturation went straight down. We're still going down. How are you feeling? Because you're already looking slightly pale in the face now. Yeah, I'm feeling tingling in my hands at the moment. A little bit lightheaded. And within a couple of minutes, I'm struggling to perform even simple tasks. So you've got four blocks here. What I'd like you to do is try and make these blocks match the silhouette that you see on the card there. Right. <laughs> But although I was struggling to perform these tasks, I really didn't care. The overriding sensation I was feeling was one of euphoria and well-being. But after three minutes, I can't even write properly. I'm now in great danger and not even registering anything that's said to me. Kevin, we need to take some corrective actions now. What I'd like you to do is lift the mask up to your face, Kevin. Lift the mask up to your face. Lift the mask up to your face, Kevin, and I will do that for you. What I need you to do now is just take long, slow, gentle breaths. Without help with that mask, I would have passed out in my chair, and I'd been without my oxygen supply for less than four minutes. A 60% beats of 80 beats a minute. I'm a very sick person right now, and there it goes, on the oxygen coming back up. I'm feeling a bit better now. The colour's coming back into your face now. That feels a lot better, yeah. There you go. Back, back up there. 99%. Back to something that feels like normality. Wow, that was um, quite an impressive uh, desaturation. 60% Six, sats. I mean, you see that in the hospital and... Uh, it's time to call the crash team, I think. <laughs> so how was that? Did you enjoy the experience? You do feel quite euphoric during it. Yeah, that's one of the biggest dangers of hypoxia in that it is actually quite an enjoyable, sort of a lot of people quite enjoy the euphoria of it. Certainly watching your face, I mean, you seem to be sort of quite, quite happy, quite jovial for most of the time, and then towards the end, you could see that you were slumping forward in the chair. I was a bit concerned you were, you were going to collapse. I don't think I would have ever guessed that you got that hypoxia that quickly. It's very, very easy to get to a state whereby even if you recognise it, you just don't care. You lose your self-criticism, you lose your judgement, and you don't do anything about it, and then it'll kill you. Uh, the first bit of writing seemed like a bit of trivial nonsense. The second bit of writing, I didn't care what it looked like. I didn't realise it looks quite that bad. I mean, there's me, normal bad doctor's handwriting. There's me, hypoxic doctor's handwriting. I'm barely intelligible, didn't even get to the second and third line of the address.